Stay tuned for my interview on The Inspiration by Loretta Show. Here's a look at what's happening in our community. Hi, I'm Loretta Green Morton. I'm your host, and I'm out here uh, this morning at the Parkers Ferry Annual Parade Day Celebration. And we're walking today with uh, Respectors Apartment Group, my um, group. We're supporting the Genesis Project, so um, we're going to be giving you some clips of everything that'll be going on today. Here's the shirt, t-shirt. Make sure to go and support this foundation. Go to parklandfoundation.com. Find out more information. We'll have the information on the screen for you. Okay. And my name is Miss Jennifer Holmes. I am the Genesis Project. What are we trying to do in our plans for the Genesis Project? Is to build three permanent pools in three areas where drowning occurs the most. And those three areas are right now Hollywood, McLennansville, and Jones Island. So if you look us up, parklandfoundation.org, you will find Genesis Project. And with the Genesis Project, it will give you the description of the plans and the time of the Genesis Project. And we thank you once again, Jennifer Holmes. Hi Keith, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for having me. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy life to be a part of the inspiration program. Right I just, I just thought it was pretty neat that you even asked. So well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to even, even do it. So. Hey, I'm, I'm always happy to have uh, somebody to come on this show who can share their own personal brand of inspiration with myself and the audience. So the first thing that I want to um, ask you is, I know that you're an actor, um, and I know there's some other things that you're doing. Um, but what I want you to do right now is to kind of get the audience familiar with exactly who Keith White is. Well, um, I'm a father of one. All right, I um, I work hard. Um, I've been married. I'm 
since been divorced. And as a matter of fact, speaking of my child, I just finished raising him. He's 23 years old. I'm done with that. So I, you know, just just a regular, hardworking guy. You know, nothing specific. Just working to achieve and hold on to the things I have. That's all. Awesome. Sounds great. Sounds great. And that's what we're all trying to do. We just trying to maintain, right? That's it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. Now, um, I want to talk about your acting for just a little bit, but before we get into that, I want to know um, what is or who is your greatest source of inspiration? I'm going to say my grandmother. My grandmother. She's since passed about maybe, maybe it's been about seven, eight, ten years now. But it's, it's been my grandmother. I, I spent a lot. I, did, I wasn't the type to be out in the streets a lot. Really? My Saturday evenings were a lot of time spent with my grandmother when she was alive. I'd go over there and we'd talk to the wee hours of the next of the next morning. Oh. But, so my inspiration looks mostly from my from my grandmother. Awesome, awesome. That sounds great. You remind me, make me think about my grandma, yeah. how much I miss. I'm telling you, they you so, you soak up so much knowledge, knowledge from them. Yeah. It was she was a good she was a good woman. Right. So I thank God for her every day. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So, what what is it, Keith, that you are passionate about? I'm I'm passionate about success. Um, learning from your mistakes, moving forward, and, and and achieving things. You know, at the least. You know what I mean? I because I've I've never grew up specifically saying anything like, oh, I want to be a police officer or a doctor or anything. I was, you know, it's just the way I was raised. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things. You know. It, it, with my parents whatnot, I, I just didn't have a head start on a lot of things. So I spent my, my life just figuring things out for myself and learning from my mistakes and, and moving right along as, 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 I, as I went. So it's just about trying to be successful with the tools which you can. Learning from your mistakes, sucking up knowledge. You mean listening, um, watching people, asking questions, involving yourself with people, and surrounding yourself with people who are successful and whatnot. And it's mainly what you take. From people. I mean, ha you need your motivation. If you want something, you have to try to achieve it. It doesn't always mean you're going to achieve it, but there's one thing you can say is that you did not try. So you know what? So you're trying is trying, and trying as hard as you can another so I've, I've always found procrastination to be my biggest enemy and that's with a lot of people but speaking of just myself I, I have to still overcome that in certain aspects right. but I've been making gains on even that so um, my biggest thing is just to just to work hard push hard and like I said use the tools that are available to you right that is um, I think it's key right there that statement alone using the tools that you have because not a lot of us are born you know with a silver spoon yeah home, yes or the knowledge energy. Right, you so know. you have to use what you got to get what you want. I think it's in the song or something. Exactly. <laughs> so, Definitely. Yeah, so, Definitely. so that sounds good. Sounds good. Now, um, let's, let's go into uh, acting for a minute. Mm -hmm. Is that a part of, uh, are you passionate about acting? How did you get started? You know what, this is so funny because when I was younger, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be an actor. I, I, I've, always, I've got the movie magazine that came in every week, movie weekly or whatever they called it. I was obsessed with certain movies, certain actresses and whatnot. And a friend of mine, um, a friend of mine, um, Roger, he, um, he changed his name, though I can't remember, to say it off the top of my head, but Roger and a friend of mine, Patrick, we all were in my apartment one afternoon and Roger was going to, I believe it was Atlanta, and he said, I'm, he did a lot of stage play in high school. Right. He said, I'm going to be an actor. And we were going to all achieve that. But in, right there in the midst of everything, I had my son. I wasn't able to chase it. and I did some modeling shoots and stuff like that. Went to Atlanta for a couple of those. And you know, my buddy was setting up some things up there because he lived in Atlanta. A friend of mine, James Garris, he set me up with a couple of things. But again, it was my son. 
I just couldn't get myself to leave my son and, and be a, a distant father. I could I couldn't see myself doing that. So it took a backseat. It's it's something and, and, and you know, even though I might not become the Danzel Washington or anything like that, listen it is possible. It's so much fun right. to be able to do it recreational in right. rise. And I thank Stephanie, you know, for even giving me the opportunity. Right. And it, it's, it's 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 become fun. I mean, you're sitting there now, you're trying to develop your character <laughs> and all this other stuff. You're trying to get into character, you're trying to get better. Right. And you know, you're trying to, you know, you're just trying to be the best you can be at that level. Right. So I was really excited about it. And I've always had a passion. I've always had a passion to um, to become, you know, an actor, you know. It, it, it's it's far-fetched, it, it really is. Because, it's not. Well, well, you know, a lot of people, it's just millions of people that want to be actors. You know what I mean? And, and, and there's exceptions, because Roger is now an actor. He's He's been in movies, he's been in all kind of big movies. Mm -hmm. He's been in, um, recently, he's been in Hunger Games and wow. stuff like that. Well, he doesn't see. get to speak that much. He's been in like three or four Tyler Perry movies. You know what I mean? Wow. So, I mean, he doesn't get to say that much, but Roger has actually achieved what he wants, what he, what he wanted, and that was acting. So, I, I'm, I'm happy for him. But, you know, it's just a lot of things. That this right here, this opportunity that Stephanie has given me to enjoy it, to, to actually live it, you know what I mean? It's, it's exciting. So, that's, I've always wanted this. I've always enjoyed it. You know? So, do you think that you take it further now? I've watched the show Pathways, and I've also had the honor of filming um, with, the, with the cast, um, and I see this show going places. I, 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 really, I really do. Yeah, this, she's so, pushing really hard. Yeah, so do you do you anticipate taking your acting further? What, whatever, what, wherever it takes me, I'm going to go. Right, I'm going to yeah. go. If, 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 if there's something pops up or whatever, I'm going to go. I have nothing holding me back. Awesome. I now, won't let anything hold me back. Now, <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask, I want to talk about it for a minute. Um, when you had to put your dream of acting to the side mm -hmm. to be a father. How difficult was that for you? Um, I don't think it was difficult at all because I can't tell you how much I love myself. I mean, I can't tell you that. If nothing, nothing superseded the fact that I had a son, I had to raise him, and I loved him. And I mean, because he meant so much to me. So it didn't, it didn't mean anything. I was, it was easily just put to the side. Wow. I said, my son means more than anything. You know, so I went to care of my son. Now, that's being a dad. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, not a lot of men are willing to make that kind of a sacrifice. I mean, to put your child, you yeah. know, the, the society that we're living yes. in now. Yes, and, I you do. know, how sometimes fathers are so separated and distant yes, from their children. Right. To hear a man, you know, be willing to sacrifice everything so that he can do the that's one right. thing that he was. Right. Meant that God, I believe God put us here to, to do to that's raise right. your son and to yes. pour into him. To Give make him sure an opportunity. Be, right. I mean, you know, because if I was going to miss anything, it was going to be because of him. You know what I mean? And I, I easily made that sacrifice. It that's wasn't. It wasn't no tug of war there. It that's was a wrap. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away here because it's very rare you get the opportunity here. Yeah. You know? And when you talk about a dream, people, a dream is not easy to give up. No, but it's in not. this case, it was it was just as simple as that. And My a, son came first. That's awesome. I'm a, I'm, forgive me, I'm kind of amazed by that mm -hmm. because I'm a dreamer. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big dreamer. I believe in my dreams. And mm -hmm. um, but um, but unlike you, also my kids. Yeah. You know, nothing comes before them. There you go. So you know, the dream sometimes. Yeah, has to I wait. regret nothing. I regret nothing. Awesome. I regret nothing because that's awesome. I mean, I, I just don't regret anything. Don't go anywhere. More to come. So now, um, when it comes to acting, um, what advice could you give to other men or other young men who want to, who are dreaming of becoming an actor? Because I know now that you you get to, to do it and enjoy it, mm -hmm. um, not maybe at the level that you dreamed about, mm -hmm. but what advice could you give them? You have to you have to study your craft. You know, going back to my friend Roger, I mean that that boy he he just took that as a class that dude fell in love with it he developed his craft he became so good at it and that's why he's in a position he is right now so you have to develop your craft you know what i mean and i see that part of it now because when you're on screen you look back at your your character and you look at your expressions the way you had the way you said it where you could have said it you want to develop you want to get better as each filming goes on because there may be you may be a character that somebody wants to watch 
But regardless of how that person feels about that character, you have to be something of interest, something right. that comes out of your mouth, the way you do your part, the way you act the part, you have to do something to keep their attention. Right. And you want to become a better actor. So developing your craft, enjoying what you do, keeping your nose clean, you know what I mean? Right. And stuff like that. <laughs> then you can succeed to those levels. Yeah. I mean, whatever it may be, it could be a commercial, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you want, to, you want to develop your craft, you know? That's some great advice. Definitely some great advice. And um. <laughs> I've watched you um, on Pathways, and how does it feel when you look at yourself on 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 screen? You know, I've seen actors be interviewed, you know, on TV and stuff like that, and some of them say, "Well, I did really didn't. I really don't watch my films and stuff like that." You know what I mean? But in my case, I have to because I have to develop my craft. Right. You know, I, I wasn't doing this for years, years, years. Right. I just started doing this. You know, but I look at myself, and you know, I was just, it was just last week. Funny you asked. That. I'm looking at myself. I said, keep you on a camera, man. Other people are watching you. Other people that you met that you don't even know. Hundreds of people. You know, that you don't even know. They're they're seeing you and whatnot. And I'm at the grocery store, I'm grocery shopping, and I'm like, I don't think anybody's gonna ever say, Hey, aren't you on the <laughs> like, So I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm like I'm like I'm like it's it's just funny. You know, right. it's, it's on a smaller scale. But Stephanie is looking for big things that so right. who, knows? who knows? You know, so I'm on the, another time I was on the phone with a friend of mine, and Stephanie calls me, and I'm like, dude, I said, let me call you back, man. I said, that's my producer. And I caught myself. I said, what? That's right. <laughs> that's your producer. <laughs> and I was telling her about that. She was laughing, and I was like, yeah, that's my producer. You know that's what right, I mean? That's I, was right. like, <laughs> no, I must admit, I must admit, um, before I met you guys, mm-hmm. before I got to meet uh, some of the cast members, I watched the show. When I, I, I met Stephanie, of course, and uh, she told me about the show and what you guys were doing. I watched the show, watched a couple episodes, and when I finally got in the midst of, when I got on, on set, mm-hmm. I was a little bit starstruck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because you know? I'm like seeing, these, I'm, I'm actually, I'm in the mm-hmm. set, and I'm like, oh my God, that's him. That's yes. him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to talk about your character for a uh-huh. minute, just for a minute. Um, your character is Lamont. And tell us a little bit about Lamont. Lamont, right now, his career isn't so much defined on the show as of, as of right now, and, and that's what's being worked on is his career because you really, you really, you know that he sings, quote unquote, but you haven't seen any performances from him. Right. You haven't heard him, to, you know, really focus on that. Right now, the show is focusing on who he is as a person, um, his relationship with um, his significant other, who's Carrie on the show. And then, you know, you got some issues that, he's got some issues that he's dealing with, you know, with that relationship, which is more so being defined. And as Stephanie writes on, I'll learn more about him. But for right now, as, as it stands, he's a bit mixed up. He's a bit mixed up and, uh, he, you know, he's, as, as we say, he's tricking a little. He's not tricking a lot. He's just tricking just a, little, a little. You know what I mean? So, um, well, the mod's got some issues and stuff like that and as Stephanie explained to me he really cares for Carrie and whatnot but it's not to the point of which um, he's in love with her or feel the way that she is his reciprocation of her love or her the way she feels about him isn't the same exactly right. you know but he does care about her but like I said he's just he's kind trying of to make it up yeah, and he's stunting a little bit okay, okay. You know, so. well got audience I have a, a treat for you we're going to take a quick break and um, we're going to show you just a little clip of Keith on Pathway so enjoy and we'll be right back. And I can't live like this anymore. I can't live like this with you. I need you gone. You gotta go. Carrie, can you be referring be referring to the argument we had earlier? Yeah. Look, I just thought you were blowing off some steam. No, well, I wasn't. Bills not getting paid and stuff not getting done around the house. But listen, when I come back Monday, I'm gonna have at least a thousand dollars. That's gonna be able to cover some things. But look, Carrie, you gotta trust me. All this talking about putting me out and all this other stuff, I need to stop it. Just trust me, I got this. All right? Now listen, I need you to do me a favor. I want you to go in the kitchen and make me one of those famous sandwiches that I love so much to eat that you make for me, okay? Now I'm gonna um, play a little bit more Xbox, and by that time the game should be on, so you do that for me. I'd appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right, and we are back. So, ladies, tell me, what did you think of Keith here 
on pathways. Mm. <laughs> Isn't he something? <laughs> you know, in that scene, you know, when I watched it, I actually got the chance to film it. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, who does he think he is? And then on the other hand, I'm saying, yes, daddy, I'll fix you whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really get into your character and you, it, he really stands out. And it, I mean, the way that you transform from Keith mm -hmm. to Lamont, I think it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, saying that, I, I get a lot of flack from my friends. <laughs> but it's, it's been my mom even did it because she called me the other day about it. She said, I saw the video, Keith. I'm, I'm very proud of you, son, blah, blah, blah. And she said, you played a part so good. And she said, and besides, it's actually you. <laughs> I was like, you know what, mom? I said, I'm not going to put it with that mess. I've been getting flack from all my boys and whatnot. Keith, there ain't nothing but you anyway. That's kind of <laughs> and it's not me, okay? But the point we'll being. We'll take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I, I really want to develop this character more. Yeah. I, I, I want to get him down pat. I want his lines to come out smoother. I, I want the belief of the character to be, you know, I, I, I just want to really interject with this character and make him come out more so. And, and you know, I, I just want to really work on that. Yeah. And so. Well, you're doing a great job um, so far. Mm -hmm. um, I love that you're in, in Pathways, by the way, is a, a Christian, um, right now it's a web series, but a, like Keith said, it's definitely Green, who's the producer of the show, is taking this show to higher level, higher heights, and you'll be hearing a whole lot more about it. And if you want to check out uh, some of the episodes from Pathways, go to their website, which is pathwaysnow.com, and we'll have it on the screen for you, so you can go and check that out. Check out some more episodes of Keith and some of the other cast members of the show. All right, all right. So we're going to take a quick break for our poetry segment, and then we'll be right back with some more from Mr. Keith White. Miserable as a winter's rain. Like a caged animal going insane. My mind, my soul, and spirit, which once soared, has lost its way and become stuck. The vision for my life's path has met disappointment and harsh luck. Now, a haunting nightmare are the dreams that once prick my very soul. Living in the stain of my fantasy. How I long to behold, shredding in the fabric of my destiny, completely stunned by the irony that my sabotager is me. I see everyone around me living, yet inside I'm slowly dying. Through all the failed attempts in my life, how do I convince myself to keep on trying? I look at my own reflection and am amazed at what I see. I come to realize that what is, is not what used to be. Vague, yet still visible, a speck of light remains in the remnants of me. I'm in the process of renewal. My wings are about to be set free. My vision, my future, and my victory is not contingent upon mere luck. It will take hard work and determination. It will take inner strength to become unstuck. All right, we are back. I'm talking to Mr. Keith White, who's an aspiring actor. Um, he's a father and just an all-around great guy. So Keith, um, I wanted to ask you, what are some words that you live by? Or some words that you kind of model your life at? Um, doing the others as you would have them do it to. It's consistently trying to be a better person. You know, a lot of times it's, it's hard for us to take advice or criticism from people when they're talking about our negatives. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, 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 it's your inside of you. Right. So when somebody looks at you, you're, they're receiving what you're giving to them. Mm -hmm. So you need to step outside of yourself and try to take a look at what they're seeing. Right. Rather than get mad and upset, try to better yourself. And I don't want to treat people bad and I don't want to be a bad person. Mm -hmm. So basically, I want to be a better person. I want to correct myself when I look at somebody or I do something and it's not exactly right or I say something that's not exactly right, whether it's in my head or out my mouth. I want to correct myself. You know what I mean? It's like, don't, don't do that. Don't be like that. 
just to be a better. Do what others are. I don't want people to be saying bad about me, and if they do, I don't care. Right. But that's not for me to try to say something bad back to them. I want to be a better person and bypass that. Or if I can, reach out to that person. I just want to be a better person. You know, that, that's, that's what I, what I want to live by. I want to be a better person and a more honest person. Because a lot of times when we're not honest, it, 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 how, I think we lead people on to right. believe otherwise. And I don't want to be like that because I'm, I'm a nice guy. I don't want to say something that's going to upset somebody or whatever. And, right. and I need to work on that. But being a better person, yeah, I just want to be a good person. That's awesome. That's awesome. Those are some great words to live by. Do unto others as you would have them. What legacy are you um, building for for your son, for yourself? What what mark do you want to leave on this world? Just, just, just success. And, and, and life is not marked by your success. All right. It's marked by what you put into trying to be successful. And if you are, that's a plus. But you don't live your life to be successful to the point that if you don't, you feel as though you fail. Right. I don't like to look back at my life and say, well, if I did had this, I could have did this. But no, no, no. I've already done that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to spit, so to speak, on my on right. what, what I, where right. I came from. Right. This is where I came from. I have to respect my history. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be flashy, full of money, or anything like that. I just want to leave a mark of uh, this, this guy right here. You know, as far as my son, I always teach him, son, be successful. Whatever you do, learn to be successful with what you have. You can become great. Right. You know what I mean? And place. him being younger, I want him to start now. I, I, I want to give him all the tools he needs. You know? and, and like I said, when I was coming up, I was lacking a lot of those tools. Right. I mean, home life wasn't perfect. You know what I mean? I love my mom and my dad. They raised me and all that they good did stuff. The best they could. Yeah, they did the best they could. But, you know, I I'm not going to go through the rest of my life saying, well, my mom would have did this or my dad would have did that. No, that's, that's right. gone now. I'm, I'm, they raised me. I can't go blaming anybody for the lack thereof. Right. Now, I have to take what I know, what I've learned, what I've been taught, put all that together and just move forward. So that's, that's just great. That's, that's great advice. Yeah. That's so, really great advice. Yeah. You can't go through life trying to blame somebody. Right. Especially when you're of adult status, you know what exactly. I mean. Exactly. Once you're at the age of accountability, the decisions yeah, you make you are your own. Yeah. Right. You know better. You know what exactly. I mean. Exactly. And you should. Exactly. Exactly. If you know better, you do better. Exactly. So. All right. All right. So, um, what's some last words that you would like to leave with the audience, or what is something that you would like for everybody to know about you, keep the man? <laughs> All right. Listen, I'm not a bad person. Number one. A lot of times, when people start to know you people that know you talk about you say certain things about you but i'm not a bad person i want to make that clear you know i want to make that clear. i believe you I, look, I have my quirks i have my issues but i'm not a bad person and that's what everybody know look i'm a nice person you can appro- anybody can approach me i'm a nice person i try my best to accommodate anybody's feelings or whatever i just you know i'm not the type of person that has to be liked you know what i mean but i'm a like person right and if you don't like me it's for some strange reason you know what i mean and that's okay too that's okay you know <laughs> but um that's that's just about it you know that's just about it nothing more specific than that all right awesome awesome well everybody keep here who is a very nice guy <laughs> we believe him don't we yes we do <laughs> All right, so I've been having a great time talking to Mr. Keith here about his life, um, about his, uh, his his struggles, about it, you know, about his career, and I've definitely enjoyed myself. He's been humble enough to let us shoot on site here at his home near his beautiful pool. I like to stick my feet in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, make sure that you check out Keith on the show Pathways. Um, Keith. Before we leave, is there um, a way that people, fans, may be um, able to contact you or to are there networking sites where they can um, communicate with you or follow you? Well, not not at this time, except for my Facebook page. You know, so that's Keith Jason White. You know, my Facebook page. That's about it. So we're we're you know we haven't gotten to that point yet. You know what I mean? But in the future, there'll be something like that if they like me enough. You know what I mean? We like him, don't we? <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, they like it. So we'll see. Who does he think he is? He ain't all that. <laughs> but I'm a nice guy, remember? He is a nice guy. I tell you what, if you if you like Keith, then go to our website, inspirationbyloretta.com. Leave us a message and let Keith know that we love him on uh, his character, Lamont, on the show Pathways. But we don't like how he doing 
carry right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we we gonna need to, we gonna need him to fix Which that. Which is right? not me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, it is my prayer that something shared here today has inspired you. And all, as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bless you.